Hey everyone, it's Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton, and we've got a Lexus GX460 uh, F Sport package to show you right now. So, this one's a white on black. It's actually our general sales manager's demo, so it's been very well taken care of at the dealership here. It does have some mileage on it, about 2200 2, kilometers on it. It's, uh, it's, as I said, the sport package, so it's got a couple extra features, a lot of it's uh, aesthetic, like the front grille that you can see here, the F-Sport front grille, as well as the F-Sport rims. These are 18-inch alloy rims. It's also got a few things on the inside, like the, uh, the, the F-Sport steering wheel and shift knob, and we'll take a look at those in a minute. So underneath the hood is the 4.6 liter V8 engine with 301 horsepower and 329 foot-pounds of torque. It gets a combined fuel economy average of 12.1 liters per 100 kilometers, so it's really not that bad for a big V8 SUV like this. Uh, a couple of the standard features on this unit are the 6,500 pound towing capacity, it's got the premium 9-speaker audio system. Actually, it's a 17-speaker Mark Levinson audio system in this one. Leather seats, uh, leather upholstery, 8-way power adjustable front seats, uh, navigation, backup camera, lots of fun stuff inside the unit. The mirrors are power folding. They're power adjustable. They're also heated as well, controlled from the inside. And the doors are touched unlock, so we're going to go inside and take a look. So now we're at the inside of the vehicle here. We'll take a look at the door panel first. You can see the uh, dark reddish wood grain trim, the leather finishing, stitching. Uh, we got the driver seat memory here, power locks, power windows, space for water bottle, folders, envelopes. Down here you have the power seat settings, eight way with a back adjuster as well. Down here you've got your gas cap release, your hood release, you have the traction control on and off button, this is the control for how you want to set your steering wheel, so it's tilt and telescopic, so down and up and forward and back. We have the mirror controls right here, as well as your trip odometer controls. The steering wheel itself is a little bit different in the F-Sport. It's a little bit lower profile with the white stitching going around the inside. It's got the audio controls on the left, the Bluetooth on the right, cruise controls down here on the lower right. The center navigation screen is right here. It's going to have all the, uh, it's basically the center point of the, the vehicle. Anything you're going to play with is going to be adjusted with this touch screen. On the side here, you got climate, audio, setup, display. On the other side, you have map with voice, destination, info, and other car settings. So, like, just to give you an example, we'll hit climate, switches to that screen, and you want to change things, you just, you just give it a tap, and that's how you change it. Over here, this little button down there, that's for your heated windshield wipers, so that's a nice little thing to have in the winter time. Down here, you have more climate controls, so you have the driver and passenger temperature settings. Uh, one button I'll point out is this one right here. This is your heated rear window as well as your uh, mirror, your heated mirror button right there. CD players down here with more audio controls. You also have the power and volume knob there and the tuning knob over here. If you want to cover these up, you just give that a push. It slides up like that. Down here you have the controls for the driver and passenger heated and cooling seats on both sides. You have the USB and auxiliary input as well as a, a auxiliary output for power. This right here, if you give that a push, it'll just close up on its own. The shift knob is leather wrapped with this dark chrome kind of trim on here with the F-Sport package as well as the stitching you'll notice on the sides. We have a couple cup holders right here and they're covered with the wood grain finish as well if they're not in use. The armrest has adjustable settings on both sides just to give you a little bit more comfort for the driver and passenger. The Inside the armrest itself, you have a little, this little piece actually moves back and forth and pops out if you like. So room for business cards and coins up here to keep that organized, and you got a lot of space down here as well. Over on the passenger side, you have the locking glove box, 
passenger door and window control as well as uh, another one the same kind of flap on that side to hold water bottles or, or paperwork uh, just like you have over here so now we're going to make our way to the cargo area I'll show you the third row seating and the rear seats and we'll go on from there okay so now we're making our way to the rear of the vehicle just give you a chance to kind of take a look at the the design I really like the darker colored rims uh, in contrast to the white body and then the, the uh, tinted windows. It is a manufacturer tint on the vehicle by the way, not aftermarket. So you can really kind of see the, the sport styling of the F-Sport GX. So to get inside the cargo area here, there's the handle down there. Give that a pull, open it up. And we can see there's a good amount of cargo space in here. If you have the third row seats down, you got lots of room back here. All of the seats in the front uh, fold down as well. It's a 40-20-40 it's a split, so you can have them up or down any way that you want. Uh, there are controls for the third row seats right here. They're, they're powered. So we're going to go around to the other side and use the other ones just so we can see it a little bit better when they come up. You also have an interior cargo cover that wasn't on display in this video, as well as a floor mat for the rear cargo area. So I can pull this seat down right here. And you can see the other controls are right here, so I'm just going to give that, press them both, and they just come on up. So they're not the biggest seats in the world, they're not the easiest to get into, but you do have them. And that's, it, it's just a great extra feature to have, you know, if you find yourself in a situation where you need to drive a few extra people, you have the room. So that's how those work back there. As for the rear seats, they recline, they fold forward like I just showed you, they also slide forward and backward as well, so you have lots of options with these seats to, you know, make it work and give your passengers a good amount of room. They're very comfortable, they have, there's a lot of space in this, it's a, it's a full size SUV so there should be a lot of space in it. I've gone on a couple trips around the city in, in the back seats already and they're very quite comfortable, you don't get sore sitting in them for long periods of time. Uh, we can take a look at the center seat armrest here with the cup holders right there. A couple other features of the rear seats, we have some temperature controls for the climate zone in the rear as well as uh, heated seats. They're actually heated rear seats back here. So that's a nice little plus. And then you have the little flaps on the back of the front seats as well to keep a magazine or two in. And rubber floor mats. And on the door panel itself, you have a little bit of space for things down here in the little cubby there as well as the window control. And I know it looks a little bit dirty in here because this is a demo and it hasn't been cleaned just to take the video, but I can assure you when you're taking delivery of this car, it's going to be spotless. You wouldn't even know that it's got 2200 kilometers on it. So now we're going to go back around to the front. We'll take a look at the headlights and I'll just sum up the vehicle again for you and we'll be on our way. So now we're back up at the front of the unit again. You can see the little, the little dimples on the front here. These are your sensors, your parking sensors. The F-Sport grill, get a little closer so you can see the detail. That's the F-Sport grill. Headlights, fog lights, all that fun stuff. So yeah, this is the uh, GX460. It's a 2013 model of the F-Sport package. So it's got uh, fun features like the backup camera, the navigation touch screen, uh, the F-Sport rims, the F-Sport grill, the F-Sport wheel and shift knob, uh, satellite radio, six disc changer, 18 inch wheels, lots of fun stuff. So underneath the hood it's a 4.6 liter V8 with 301 horsepower, 329 foot-pounds of torque. The combined fuel economy rating on this car is a 12.1 liters per 100 kilometers and it's also got the uh, 6,500 pound towing capacity as well. So if uh, you like this vehicle, if you want to know more about it or you want to see it in person, take it for a test drive, please give us a call at 466-8300 and make an appointment or just come on down to Lexus of Edmonton at 170th Street and 111th Ave. We're right next to the Tim Hortons, really easy to find. If you're going to keep browsing online, if you're not already on our website, please go ahead and check it out, lexusofedmonton.ca. See what other units we have available. We have videos up for most of our inventory. Uh, yeah, just come, come on, take a look. We want to help you out. 
So, my name is Ryan Quick from Lexus of Edmonton. Thank you very much for sticking around through the whole video. We'll see you again soon.